Hello and welcome all. So today we are going to develop our to our first part of the Blazor Connect 4 game and that is designing the game model. Now this is as per promise given to you when I made a face-to-face -face, uh, appearance uh, a week back in one of my videos earlier that I will be starting a Blazor series of uh, game. So this is the first part of a Blazor Connect 4 game. Now what we will learn at the end of this video is to model a Connect 4 game in Blazor. Okay, now this is the physical game in the adjacent figure. This is the Blazor game. Now this was a game played in our childhood very often and is a two player game. The game board is a matrix of six rows high and seven spaces wide. So six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven columns. Okay, seven columns wide. And each of the players slides his colored buttons through a slit at the top. So he, first player, second player, this, this is a slit at the top, okay? And through which each of these players in turn can slide his buttons, colored buttons, okay? Now what are the game rules? The first player starts with the red button and slides the button through any of the slits, which occupies the empty slot at the bottom. And then the second player takes his yellow button and can slide it through any slot which may place the button in an empty space or it could be on top of a previously placed button or at the bottom. Now the first player who connects four of his buttons horizontally, vertically or diagonally wins. Now here in this game, can you guess who has won? So if you keep on looking for a few seconds, you'll see that none of the players has won because neither the red button player or the yellow button player has been able to put four of his connect four of his uh, buttons in a straight line either horizontally or vertically or diagonally so this is a drawn game i would think so let me know if i am correct okay now next is there is a reference to the code author so this game is duly attributed to the GitHub code of Matthew Jones at this site. Okay. And this game, there is a bunch of games which is which are deployed at this site. So I will show them to you in a bit. Now this is blazergames.net slash connect4. You can see there is a lots of other games, tic tac toe, minesweeper, EST, and game of life. But I will be making this Connect 4 game with his permission. And now, a red stern was there, so red button actually slid through the top and it occupied an empty space. First turn, red stern, and likewise. So let's make um, red with this game. So this is, he has been able to connect four of his red buttons in a row horizontally okay and you can reset the game and restart it okay so you could have a look at this website which is full of wealth you know blazer games wealth all right now let's start actually the coding so i am configuring my project as a blazer connect 4 game and um, let it be unchecked, place solution and project in the same directory and then create. And I will create this game as a Blazor WebAssembly project. Okay, so WebAssembly project and go for the configure for HTTPS and let it be unchecked. These two check boxes remain unchecked. Okay, and then create. Now the Blazor Connect 4 project within the same name solution is created for me and what I to start with what I will do that I will get rid of this fetch data and the counter components um, because they will be of not much use to me so I will just get rid of both of these one by one um, delete Okay.
Now I have kept the index.tracer still intact to navigate to our game later. Okay, so in the first step, what we'll do is we shall create an enum that represents the colors in the board. So red, yellow, and blank color. Blank color is where there is empty slot. Okay, right, so we'll create a folder named data within this project. Right click, add new folder, and name it data. Okay. Now, now I will create a piece color class to the data folder. So, right click, add class. So piece color class is created for me. Now instead of keeping it as class, I will this will be an enum to hold the colors, which I just said public enum piece color and within the quotes and end quotes there will be red comma yellow and then blank to represent an empty space. Alright, so piece color is created for me and then let me double, uh, I mean, save all. Save all is better because if I have got three, four files, more than one file unsaved, it's better always to go for save all and then also save. That's all right. Okay. So next is I will go to the shared folder and not the shared, but the imports.razor folder and I'll have to add a using statement add I have to add another one add using so this is blazor connect 4 blazor connect 4 dot data all right And let us build this project. Control Shift B. So it comes up with an error. Blazor Connect 4 could not be found. Now, I can you spot the error? This is due to this because I have written a typo. So that will be the project name is Blazor Connect 4 with a capital C. And instead, I have written small c. So that was the typo. Right. Now, if you build it again, it should build successfully. So this time the build succeeded. Okay. So now the reason of writing that using statement, just like C sharp using statement on this imports component or imports.razor, because this is common to the project. Now, by writing it here, when I create another component to for this game, connect for game, I will not be needing that using statement within the local component itself, Blazor connect for component. So by writing it as a central place, like all of these, uh, which were actually default created by default when the project was created by including the Blazor connect for dot data folder, that namespace, it will not, it, it is accessible from any component outside the data folder, okay? Now we shall be needing a game piece, or which is, you can say, the unit of the game. Now this is a simple case where we need just a space with a colored button or an empty space. So we just need one property of color. So we'll create a class within this data folder and name this game piece class so right click again and add class so game piece class is created for me now in this game piece class i will actually 
include a variable i'll declare a variable public of type piece color type piece color type which was what which was a enum right public and name it color we'll take one of the suggestions okay now there is a constructor the default constructor will be uh, public game piece and to this color this will be piece color now default color is blank an empty space okay and there will be another constructor in which whatever color is supplied as a const as a constructor parameter piece color say small color with a small c and then this declared variable is assigned the parameter to this constructor that is color all right so whenever this game piece is called without any um, argument or the default constructor is called for this game piece class then it will be assuming a blank color and if the piece color is supplied it will take the assign the color to the color supplied in the to the game piece constructor right so now we have come to the step three so remember just recalling in the step one we have created a enum to hold the three colors that is the red yellow and the, even the blank space is assumed that it's a blank color okay so the color enum is declared in the first step in the step two what we have done we have declared a game piece and that game piece is only having one property that is that is this class that is the um, color and now in third step we must model the game board or the physical game that we saw in the slideshow and imagine this as a six by seven matrix of six rows and seven columns seven columns initially all the spaces are blank so that we may consider it as being filled by blank color now for that we'll create a game board class within the data folder so click on add add class game board so game board class is prepared now within this game board class let's start coding and here i'll de declare a public property to hold the board which will be a two-dimensional array of game piece okay so prop tab tab to create a shell of a public property so instead of int it will be game piece type that is the unit of the game i would say okay so how do you um, declare a two-dimensional array of any object of any type that is within the empty pair of this uh, rectangular braces you put a comma and call this board okay so public game piece type board gets it right and then i'll have to create the constructor of this class public game board now i will initialize the board which is a two dimensional array of game piece so board equals Seven comma six. Okay. 
the two dimensions are 7 and 6. So 7 represents the columns and 6 represents the rows. Now, next um, job is to populate the board with blank pieces. As I said, when the board, none of the players have started the game, it is assumed that the board is populated with blank spaces. So let me write like that. And for that, I'll have to create a loop within a loop or a nested loop. So just let me do it. For int i equals 0, i less than instead of length, it will be less than equal to. So outer loop represents the uh, column in this case. For int i equals 0, i less than equals 6, i plus plus, all right, and the loop within the loop, the inner loop will contain j. For int j equals 0, j less than equal to uh, the number of rows minus 1. Okay, because we are starting from 0 to less than equal to 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 6. And here it is 7 column. All right, J++. And then all that is required to initialize the board. So board i, comma j equals it's of type again. New game piece. And how would you like to populate it with uh, blank color? So this is piece color dot blank. Blank is one of the members of the enum. Right. So that's all done. Done and dusted. So let's build this project. It won't show you anything. But if the build is correct, that means we are in the right track. So control shift B, hotkey combination again to build the application. And you see the build has succeeded. Now we'll leave it at there. Um, at the moment, I won't be able to show you anything because there is no UI, there is no result component that I have built. And when you come back to the part two, we will do and build a result component to actually show it on the web, on the browser. Okay, thank you.